Hey guys, welcome back to Tracy's Place. I am here with a Taco Tuesday. So before you all get into this video, please pause it and go and get something that tastes really good to you and come back and share it with me. All right, hopefully you all are at lunch or at dinner or whatever, but come on back and join me with something good, okay? But I'm gonna say my grace. God is great and God is good. Lord, I thank you for this food. Bless this food and drink. Make it nourishing and not harmful. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Bless everyone who is with me. Touch them in a special way, Lord God. If they're going through anything, bless them and bless them with your love. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys. I have, like I said, tacos. And on my tacos, I have ground turkey. But I season mine up. You would never know. You would never know. So it's ground turkey and i have taco sauce on them i have um let me see i'm gonna tell y'all how i from each layer up some people build theirs different but i think now i'm a foodie y'all i think the way you build it results in a certain taste all right so i have the ground turkey is the first layer the taco sauce and then green onion cilantro and regular onion on top of that, then the cheese, then the tomatoes, then the sour cream, then the whole kernel sweet corn, and the lettuce. And then I got a couple of pieces of tomato on the top just to make it look pretty. I think when certain things are mixed together, it just gives off a different flavor rather than if it was all separated. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> But it just does because I tried tacos many different ways and built them many different ways. But like this, you get a fuller flavor. Okay? So trust me on that. <laughs> All right. Let me dig in. You know what? I'm going to put this down further. So y'all already seen them. So yeah, after y'all watch this video, go check out some of my other mukbang friends. You just type in Taco Tuesday mukbang. And so many people come up. There are a lot of other people that do mukbangs too. So and on this Taco Tuesday, go support some other people too. But anyway, let me dig in. There's no words. No words befitting Mexican food. <laughs> I love Mexican food. Mm -mm -mm. And I know Americans have almost tried to take over the taco thing, but this is this is the Mexican dish, y'all. It belongs to the Latinos. It is delicious. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So good. So if y'all are eating with me, let me know what y'all are eating. Um, let me know what y'all did this past weekend. I know it's Tuesday, but I didn't get a chance to really chat with you all about what I did. Maybe just a little bit on my video yesterday. My, um, what I got from Mother's Day video. But y'all let me know what y'all did on Mother's Day. And if y'all family took you out or if they cooked for you, let me know what gifts you got. Put that down below. Girl, let me know what you did. Mm. Mm-mm. So our weekend started off on Friday, of course. Kind of early. My husband got off work early. Um, we had a death in the family, and his cousin's funeral was Friday. So he got off early, and it was more like a it was a memorial, and it was beautiful. Um, you know, they had their her pictures and things on the table and everything, and people got up and spoke, and it was just beautiful. I love to hear about other people's lives and how the person that has passed on I love to hear how they've impacted other people and everybody has a different story 
And it's just, it's wonderful to learn. For me, funerals and memorial services help me want to be a better person because a lot of the people that, you know, whose funerals and things I've attended, have, people are saying just wonderful, wonderful things. And, um, you know, things to aspire to, I say that. So it makes me want to be a better person. So anyway, it was a beautiful service. And of course, y'all, there was a repast. And you know, our folks, our Af African-American folks, they'd be thrown down in the kitchen. And on my husband's side, just his family is just known for, for cooks, period. His mother and his and her sisters. So some of the cooking gene got passed down to the to their children, which is my cousins, you know, siblings or or um, cousins, like his cousins and stuff like that. Some of the gene was passed on to them, and some it did not hit at all. <laughs> but it hit some of them. So anyway. Some of the cousins had made some food and it was delicious. Delicious. And there was some potatoes there, y'all. Lord have mercy, Jesus. You know, sometimes potatoes is just potatoes. And sometimes potatoes are potatoes extraordinaire. And these were some potatoes extraordinaire. I tell you, we was eating these potatoes. And I said, mm. Potatoes are so good. I just kept saying everything was good, mind you. But the but potatoes, mashed potatoes, was off the hook. And my husband was like, "Yeah, these are really good." I said, "I'm gonna have to ask." And then what? You know who made them? And if I can get the recipe, because I make some good. I make some good potatoes if I must say so myself. But these was oh, they looked like they were whipped. You know, really good. But the seasoning in them, oh, my goodness. So anyway, I went over to one of my cousins, which, you know, my husband's cousin, or my cousin. Um, you know what I'm saying? So-and-so. I said, who put their foot in these potatoes? <laughs> and she said, now, um, she said, do you cater? I said, mm -mm. I said, no, I don't. And she said, okay, well, I'm going to tell you the family secret. And, of course, I'm not going to divulge it on here. Because <laughs> she told me, don't you tell nobody. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> oh, and that makes me feel so bad. Because what do you do when you get a recipe and somebody tells you, don't tell anybody. But you have other, if you make it or whatever, you have people close to you. And they ask you, oh, goodness, can you give me that, you know, like in this case, potato recipe. Can you give me that potato recipe? But the person who you got it from said, don't tell anybody. Excuse me. And there have been some cake recipes. And those people have told me, don't tell anybody. Because you know, sometimes I don't know the reason. Sometimes it's such that you know, if you're at the same church or if you're in the same family or at the same job or whatever, they don't want to make make a cake for that for a certain occasion and you pop up with the same cake and they've been making it for years and years and years and you give them the recipe and all of a sudden you're trying to turn it into your star recipe at their functions or, you know, combined functions that y'all going to, y'all don't mix well. <laughs> Not at all. So, I understand it from that aspect. So, people are just being stingy with the recipes. Also, and there's some people you just you just don't know. But, um, yeah, I can understand sometimes you don't want to see your recipe at, at an event. Mm. So, what do y'all do when... Somebody tells you don't give the recipe. You give it, go ahead and give it away to somebody who may not ever come in contact with them. Or you honor them and you don't give it at all.
So, anyway, at this, at the repast, there was some of the regular food, and then we had some beef brisket. Oh my lord, it was so good. So I didn't ask for the recipe, because I knew I wasn't going to be making no beef brisket. I make a good roast, a good pot roast, but a brisket is not necessarily something I just want to learn how to do, so... But it was delicious. It was good. Excellent. And I was like, okay, I won't ask too many questions. Mm. Tacos are so messy. But they are so good. So, then after we went to the funeral and the repast, Oh, before that, we had gone to see my husband's nephew in the hospital. But he's doing better. He's doing better. Just a fluke thing that happened with him. Something happened with his ocular vision or something. It was just a fluke. It wasn't nothing that he's done or anything. It wasn't an injury or anything. It was just this odd thing that happened. And he's college age and, you know, it's threw everybody for a loop. But they, they found a way to you know, help fix it or whatever. So he's doing better. So then we went to the funeral after we went to the hospital, went to the repast, and then went back home. We went back home. Seems like we did something else Friday night. I cannot remember. I can't remember. Um, oh, I think I came home and cleaned. I was going to go see my sister because my sister's visiting from out of town, but... Uh, it was getting late in the evening, and I think they weren't doing anything else that evening, so we just visited them Saturday, Sunday. So we just visited her on Sunday. We went to see my mother for Mother's Day. Mm. So, Saturday... Me and my husband got up real early. Went to get my brother-in-law's truck to borrow it so that we could go and get the stuff for our garden. We are starting a garden. Mm -hmm. Not for flowers, but for vegetables and stuff. So, we have been wanting to do it since last year. Because y'all know I always talk about, well pretty often anyway, our food supply here in the U.S., and um, just different things. Sometimes you just don't trust. So it would be a good idea to start your own garden. Just pay attention to how food, period, is done in the U.S. And the things you buy in the store and all that. But anyway, it got me interested. That issue got me interested in gardening. My mother and father, also my mother-in-law, my sister, and some other people that I know have gardened for years. My mother and father had a garden all while we were growing up. And, you know, it's something you don't think about while you're young, of course, 20s, for the most part. So I never did think about it too much. Mm. But as I've gotten older, you watch the news more, you pay, pay attention to more things. You can, you can become more aware and more sensitive to things. And so, we said last year we're going to start a garden. My husband did build the box and everything because we have a raised garden. He built the box and everything, but I didn't get started with it last year. Anyway, Saturday, we went to the, to the nursery, the garden nursery, and we ended up getting the... I'll say topsoil and stuff while we're here on camera because you probably wouldn't want to hear the other things that it is. <laughs> anyway, we've got the soil and stuff, um, the seeds, and some other things, and we went ahead and filled the box so it is ready for seeding. So I just have to seed, you know, put the seeds in now. And... A garden can help save a lot of money. A lot of money. If you think about the money you spend on tomatoes and onions and squash, green beans and stuff like that, 
it adds up. So, the seeds that I got were tomatoes, green onions, and I'm going to go back and get cilantro because I love cilantro so much. But um, I got cucumber, green beans, yellow squash, and green squash. I think that's all I got. And just for starting out, I thought that was good. Y'all, I almost got some watermelon seeds. My husband said, don't you get no watermelon seeds. <laughs> she said, he said, those are going to be too big for the garden. And our garden is not big right now, but I sure wanted to get some watermelon seeds. Even if I just grew two, that would have made me happy. And of course, you have to think about where you are and what can grow in your climate. So, I have to look all that stuff up, but as I can, as I understand, just about anybody can grow it, as long as the weather, I guess, is cooperating. So, we have a summer, good summer season here, and I think a watermelon would grow pretty decent. Oh, and I did get strawberry seeds. So, I am going to be trying to grow strawberries. So I'm very excited about that and very excited to see if I'm going to be able to grow it or grow them. So later on today... Well, since we had these events, it's been Mother's Day too on Sunday. Since we had all these events, um, oh, I didn't tell y'all what we did Sunday. Sunday we went to church. The men cooked for the women uh, for Mother's Day. Um, and so we had a nice service. Well, we ate breakfast first. Had a nice service. Mm, they came home and then went to my mother-in-law's house, the men fixed dinner for and served the women you know, dinner for the mothers on my husband's side of the family. And um, then we went over to my sister's house to visit her, her husband. My sister was over there, my mom, my niece and nephew. And so me and my husband and kids went over. And we had fun, of course. We had fun with family all day long, so we had a good time. Anyway, because of those events that we went to, we have a lot of leftovers that I am thankful for because <laughs> I will not be cooking for about the next two days. And I'm so happy about that. Um, we even got some food from the funeral because they have so much food. And they said, you know, take some food and stuff. So I sure did get some of those potatoes. Y'all know I did. And so, oh my goodness, we had yams, green beans, green bean casserole, corn, um, what else? Salmon with rice, and it was some kind of sauce on the salmon and the rice. So good, my brother-in-law makes that. Um, we had fried chicken, baked chicken, ham. We had, um, mm, what else? Sliced carrots. Um, hmm, I know I'm missing something. And then we had uh, for dessert, carrot cake, dump cake, and ice cream. Uh, fruit salad. Oh, it was a big fruit salad. Oh, my goodness. Um, what else? A, a reg regular salad. We just had so much food. So, brought home, so, brought food home from that. Also, um, so I'll have to do is warm it up later on. I'm very happy about that. And even though y'all, I, 
I don't mind cooking. It's like when you have cooked for years, at a certain point, sometimes you just get a little tired of it. But of course, I still have, you know, kids and my husband and everything. So I still have to cook. And um, how do y'all feel also, we were talking mm, was it this week or last week, about cooking from scratch versus semi-homemade or from the box. What do y'all think about that? And some people will not think of using a box of anything, um, some real good home cooks. But I don't mind um, from the box or semi-homemade things. Um, because you can doctor them up. It could be something simple, like even the potatoes. Some people can take a box of, of you know, boxed potatoes and fix them up, and you wouldn't know the difference. Um, even cakes. You know, I do homemade cakes, and then sometimes you all see cakes that I do on here. It's semi-homemade. Sometimes I'll make a box cake, and then just the icing and all the stuff on it is that helps to make it homemade but and sometimes you can add an egg to batter and make it taste different than the regular box cake and um your cornbread somebody has said something about cornbread not long ago about you know women fixing um um uh, cornbread from scratch versus that jiffy mix and me and somebody was looking at each other we was like i like jiffy <laughs> i'm not a big homemade cornbread eater and I just think, you know, Jiffy makes a good cornbread. And if it tastes good, my thing is, if it tastes good, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's the saying. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So if it's a box or whatever and it tastes good, I don't see anything wrong with it. I'm not, I, I, don't, I don't understand that. And then some people say, you know, it's the effort or whatever. If you don't have to spend the extra effort to... And time, because now, especially nowadays, people don't have a whole bunch of extra time. It's like, if you can do it homemade, fine, if that's what you want to do. But if it's boxed and, you know, it tastes the bomb, hey, that's what we'll be doing. <laughs> I can see things like, hmm, I fixed the boxed macaroni and cheese and stuff before in the pinch. But I would prefer homemade. Homemade is better in that instance. And some things, it is just better, yes, homemade. But with some things, hey, if it tastes good, let's go with that. And what do y'all think about that? That stigma. Why well, some people say, and sometimes people don't even know that it's not homemade. They'll taste something from a box and think it's from scratch. I'm like, ooh, I know you put your foot in this and I know you, da 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 da. And the person might have, and you know, sometimes have, made it from a box. Mm. But anyway. And ladies, y'all let me know, as you all have gotten older, um, or just period, do you all love to cook? Or you cook out of necessity because you have to, or you don't like to cook at all? So do you love to cook, or are you neutral about cooking, or do you hate to cook? Let me know your thoughts. <laughs> All right, guys, I love you all. Have a blessed day. Um, take a look at my video from yesterday, what I got for Mother's Day. And ooh, I'm not going to eat that big old onion by itself. But I'll see y'all next time right back here on Tracy's Place. Bye.